All right, once again, YouTubers, this is Even Ball. It is November 2nd, 2015, and I got a batch of games here for you. So let's get right to it. Okay, the first thing I got is a homebrew cartridge. I got this uh, from a special uh, printing on Nintendo Age. It was a second printing of a game called Targa. And uh, this was a uh, prototype somebody had found. This was the English version of a game that only came out in Japan that was originally called Rendering Ranger R2. And it was made by the same person, Manfred Trans, who made uh, Turrican. And uh, it's actually a fantastic game. It's part shooter, part Turrican style action game. And uh, it's just a beautiful game and uh, comes with this nice looking cartridge and it works just fine. It, it runs perfectly, very, very smooth, and, and it really pushes the hard way to its, to its limits. It's, it's a very, very impressive game, I gotta say. Next up, I found this uh, game randomly, and uh, I just decided to go grab it because it's in really good condition. It's Risk. As you can see, it's pretty much in mint condition. It's only three bucks, so I thought, why not? Risk is a fun, fun board game, and uh, it might be an interesting uh, Genesis game. Let's go right to our next batch of games here. First up... I have a couple GameCube titles here. So, first one is Star Wars Rebel Strike World Squadron 3 Limited Edition Preview Disc. This was about six bucks or so, but that was actually a pretty good deal. And uh, I know it's kind of he hefty for a preview disc. You might be wondering why you'd want this preview disc, but the, the real reason why is it comes with the original arcade game uh, that's playable on, on the GameCube. So that's a really nice little extra there to have for your GameCube. Yeah, you can get the original Star Wars arcade game for your GameCube. And I also got one GameCube game from Amazon. I just decided to order. I didn't get anything else that week, so I just thought I'd get a uh, game off of Amazon. It's called Lotus Challenge. It says it's only for Nintendo GameCube, so I guess it's an exclusive. Uh, I don't see this one out in the wild very often, so I thought I might as well get it for a few bucks on Amazon. Now, I found this game at Goodwill, and uh, I'm glad to finally get it. It's, it's totally worth getting. It's called Maximo Ghosts to Glory for the PlayStation 2. And yeah, it's the uh, PS2, basically 3D update to the... Ghosts and Goblins series. So that is a lot of fun. And it's a nice cartoony game. It's, it's a lot of fun. Next up is a Resident Evil game that I've been wanting for quite a while. Resident Evil Outbreak. The first one. And uh, the online portion of it, I believe, is shut down. I don't know how this works uh, single player, but I imagine you can still do it single player. It looks like it's a lot of fun. 
And this game, I just kind of got this because it's an only on Xbox game, and I want to get a lot of those, but it's called Monster Garage, and it's only two bucks. I thought I'd go ahead and get it. Now this game is an RPG that I've been looking forward to. Ark the Lad, End of Darkness, which has an online component, but uh, I'm probably not going to play that online component. It's probably shut down as well. But yes, yeah, uh, I don't know if this is the last Ark the Lad game or, or if there's any more, but uh, it looks like it's a lot of fun. I love these RPGs. And last of this patch right here is a game I had never heard of before I picked it up. American McGee presents Scrapland. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it doesn't say only on Xbox on there, but it's only really on Xbox. There's no PS2 version as far as I can tell. But there is a PC version of this game. And it's not made by American McGee, but it was, uh, it was made by a European uh, group. But uh, it... It looks like a lot of fun. It's a very, very different game. And, uh, you know, it's unusual. I'd never come across this one before, and I thought I might as well grab it. It looks like a really good adventure game. Okay, now for some bizarre reason, I came across a whole bunch of sealed games. Uh, you know, every once in a while, I just come across one, two, or maybe ten. And I, I, I wound up buying a few of them. And uh, the first three I'm going to show you are really unusual. I found sealed Lynx games. Yes, Atari Lynx games. I don't have a Lynx yet, but when I do get a Lynx, I will... Uh, I, you know, these aren't really all that expensive, even sealed. I might open up some of these, especially Zybots, which I'll show you in a little bit. But uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure for the Lynx. It looked like an interesting... Uh, to the uh, adventure title. I don't know how good it's going to be. It looks... Uh, gameplay online looks terrible, so we'll see about that. Next, yes, I just mentioned it, is Zybots. This game is real cheap, even sealed, so I may as well just open this one up whenever I get a Lynx. Uh, but it's kind of a 3D platformer, like a like a 3D version of... Uh, of... like... Uh, that a berserk or something like that so looks like a lot of fun and another game i had never heard of called dirty larry renegade cop yeah it's also sealed although it's a little bit bent so not that great but uh, it looks like an interesting and bizarre game and i found a xbox game that was sealed also it's nothing special though it's just amped Freestyle snowboarding. This is two bucks, so I thought it would be worth it. I, th I think I might have this one opened also. We'll, we'll see if I do. And one other game for the Xbox 360. And this isn't all that special either, but it's kind of nice to have it sealed. It's Perfect Dark Zero Limited Collector's ed Edition. Yeah, it's got uh, the, the tin in there. And uh, it's got, I guess, cards in there, a special DVD. So that's pretty cool. It's not a great game, but uh, it's a pretty good package, I'd say. And for only five bucks, you know, you can't go wrong. Okay, thanks for watching. My next uh, episode will be about what I picked up during the Portland Retro Gaming Expo a couple weeks ago. So I'll see you then.